joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. It's the Portland Trail Blazers facing the New York Knicks. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. They've got Walton. Drexler out there with Damian Lillard. And it's fanned away in at the three spot. Portland with the ball after the missed three by Carmelo. Lillard finds a bonus. Poke loose. It's stolen by Frazier. And a fast break now for New York. Looking for Anthony and gets it there. And that one drops. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Lillard outside. And then Lillard slams it in. This is so fun to watch. Lillard going up with some real power to finish the slam. There's the drive, and it goes down two points. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. A shot by Anthony, no good. Anthony's gone one of three from the field here. Here's Drexler, and Drexler throws it down hard. How about the explosive vertical there? Not much you can do to stop Drexler once he gets to the rim. Anthony in the corner. Sabonis grabs the board. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Tipped away. Stolen by DeBusher. Passes it to Guerin. And here's Anthony from the arc. Again, the miss by Anthony. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. And Ewing with the block. And they get it back. Sabonis. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. New York with the ball. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, thanks, Kevin. I did talk to New York's head coach. He told me they have to lean on their post game tonight. He wants them to get the ball into the block each time down the floor and pound those guys inside. Sounds like this could be a real physical battle, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. The playmaking skills of Lillard. Reeves defenses so well and recognizes when they've left a teammate uncovered. Drexler with the steal. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. Lillard with no one around. And another three for Portland. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start. And he can help with that. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. And pushing it up, here's New York. From downtown, one up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Here's Lillard. Uses the glass to finish the way. Lillard's got seven points in the game. I love how crafty Damian Lillard is inside. Finding a way past the deep into his shot. Pass to Garrett. Fires the three. No good there. Now Portland takes it the other way. Lillard from outside. And the Trailblazers, another three. The range of Lillard is endless. You cannot let him get looks from deep. Dane will hit him. Oh, and here we go. Drexler with nobody back. And Drexler throws it down hard. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Now, here's Drexler. D right on him. The Trailblazers shooting their first free throws of the game. That free throw, no good. 
And he sinks the second. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Frazier the pass to Guerin. And a miss there on the triple. Trailblazers leading by six. Lillard outside. Kicks it out to Drexler. Portland no good that time either. And Ewing has got the ball here for the New York Knicks. Here's Guerin. Drills the three-pointer. He's got nine. Alert against Frazier. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by DeBusher. A shot by Anthony. Oh, my goodness, with no time left on the clock. Without a moment to spare, he guts this one out. Tie game and some big points being put up on the board. Clark, as we wrap up the first, we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Knicks. What they've done is they've looked to push the pace and transition early, and it's paid dividends with their fast break points. On top of that, they're creating turnovers and taking advantage by converting on the offensive end. The busher is out there with Anthony. Then there's Ewan. Then there's Frazier. And it's Guerin in at the two. There, the group in New York will start the second year. And Frazier with the basket on the assist by DeBusher. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. And the dunk by Drexler. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. So they take the lead. DeBusher's got five. Savvy play by Carmelo. He knows the defense expects him to fire, so he makes a pass to an open teammate. You just don't realize how difficult it is to hit a shot that deep. And <laughs> that was sweet. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. To the wing right side. Vandaway passes to Drexler. Drexler throws it down home. And how about the offensive explosion here by Clyde Drexler? Has really developed his skill set. No one's been able to match up with him all night. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Portland. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. And they've also been feeling it from beyond the arc. Good start for them so far. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Frazier, Frazier, Frazier. The three from Anthony. Gets that one to drop. That's his third field goal in eight tries. There's that touch from outside. Love seeing Mello rise up with confidence. Lillard fires away from way outside. And another three for Portland. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Here's Vandaway. Frazier covering. Pass to Lillard. Sabonis sets the pick for Lillard. That's tipped. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. It'll be a jump ball. The kick out to Sabonis. Clock at four. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Ewing against Walton. Guerin passes to Ewing. Ewing a screen on Sabonis. Frazier with it. Lillard picks him up. 
in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And one of the very best in our league at getting to the line. Walt, Walt Frazier just has that great change of pace and aggressive nature. Always playing, though, under control. Frazier right side. Anthony on the wing. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Good on the triple. Anthony's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for New York. Not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. Drexler inside. And finished off by Drexler. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Deep two from Anthony. Frazier outside. The pass to DeBusher. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Trailblazers leading by three. Drexler scanning the floor. In the corner, it's a bonus. Off target from outside. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Anthony kicks to Frazier. That misses at a chance to tie it there. To the paint, there's Sabonis, and slam dunk by Sabonis. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. The three from Anthony gets the three-pointer to fall. Anthony's got 14 points for the game. Carmelo Anthony's shot mechanics are solid. He's still a knockdown threat. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the trick. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Really an incredible game from Lillard. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. On the floor for Portland, they've got Drexler. Sabonis is out there with Walton. Then it's Damian Lillard, and it's Vandaway in at the three, the small four. To Busher with the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Passes it to Garen. Stolen by Drexler. And they're pushing it up. Here's Vandaway. Kicks it out to Lillard. Anthony with the block. Still got that defensive grit. Carmelo Anthony making a difference on both sides. DeBusher passes to Frazier. From deep. Rebound, Bill Walton. Walton's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Pass to Sabonis. Fires the three. It's rebounded by New York. DeBusher's got his fourth rebound in this one. And here's Anthony for three. And it's Portland with the rebound. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Up top, Frazier. Covered by Lillard. Here's to Busher. Off target with his three. Portland leading by seven. Here's Sabonis. And finished off by Drexler. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Frazier kicks to DeBush. Pass to Ewing. Here's Garen. That's good, and Ewing with the assist. Garen's got 15. 
Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. To the left wing. Here's Vandewey. Here's Walton. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. And the Trailblazers lead by eight. Relentless on the offensive glass. And then you love the finish. New York moving the ball around. The shot's good from DeBusha. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender fails to close the gap. This is why you spend so much time devising ways to space the floor. If you can't, you don't get very far. The Knicks making a switch here. Reed's checked in. Willis Reed. Walton the pass to Vandewey. Lillard outside. Kicks it to Drexler. In the corner, it's a bonus. Feeds it to Walton. Reed with the steal. Frazier against Lillard. Frazier outside. For the three. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got his fourth rebound in this one. One thirty-nine left here in the third quarter. Drexler kicks to Lillard. Hits the three-point bomb. Lillard's got 20 points. When Lillard gets set up like this, it's more or less over. He knocks down a lot of daggers. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Lillard attacking. Vandeweghe passes to Drexler. Here's Vandeweghe. Kicks it out to Lillard. Shot clock at five. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. And there's that competitive spirit from Dame marching right back and answering the call. Anthony looking it over. Frazier the pass to DeBush. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Trexler. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Knicks trail by eight. DeBusher passes to Garen. Back to DeBusher. This one for three. Good on the triple. DeBusher's got 11 points. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D head collapsed on him. And it's Trexler with the ball for Portland. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. New York foul. First and now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Here's Lillard. Outside Sabonis. Lillard on top. Frazier covering. A leaner. And it's Lillard missing. Made that shot a little harder than it had to be. No one around him. Just ride straight up and drill it. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun... And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. They've got Frazier. DeBusher is out there with Anthony. Then it's Reed. And it's Garen at the shooting guard position. That's the five for New York right now. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Drexler inside. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Alert against Frazier. There's the pass to Garen. Back to DeBusher. Four on the shot clock. New York needs to get off a shot. Garen, no good. 
not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Sabonis against Reed. Kicks it out to Lillard. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. It's going to be on Willis Reed. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Portland. For me, consistent penetration the entire game. And that's given them a lot of options. And they've really been able to get out in transition and produce. The defense hasn't had an answer for this up-tempo pace. And here's Anthony from the arc. That shot is in just like six others have been for. He's shooting seven for 15. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space to tie it up. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Bill Walton. And hey guys, it's really amazing the effect the Busher has on this team, especially on the defensive end. He's smart, he's cagey, and incredibly tough. Lillard attacking, and Damian Lillard with the jam. You guys can slice up the D like Lillard can. He's just so quick and so agile on the drive. Garen passes to Frazier. Here's Anthony, plenty of space, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. It's the fourth quarter, and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. Vandaway, no good from outside. Vandaway's gotten just one of his four attempts from the four tonight. Here's Reed. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. And Portland with the ball. Now here's Trex. And Trexler throws it down home. Ooh, a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. And now a four-point trailblazer lead. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Anthony with the bucket. Clutch performer, Carmelo Anthony. There is a big shot. Lillard against Frazier. And Lillard kicks to Sabonis. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. And the Trailblazers lead by four. Outside Anthony. Out to the right wing. Reed misses. Okay, when you're trying to make a comeback, you can't be hucking up low percentage threes. You have to find a better shot within the offense. Shots good by Drexler. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prison. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. How many times have we seen that throughout his career? Mello with a clutch bucket. To Vandalin. Money! This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Here's Frazier. It's good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And that's about the first defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it. Here's Lillard. 41 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. It's stolen by Frazier. So the first one drops, and that brings them within two. And so he makes both from the line. 
getting it done at the line as he usually does. And that could be huge in a tight game like this one. Here's Drexler. Yes! That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. And now we've got the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain grab. First free throw is good, and that brings them within two. And Frazier drops them both. Lillard with it. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Sabonis feeling it out of it. Back to Lillard. Five on the clock. From deep. And no good that time. New York takes time out. What do you think, guys? Not sure they have enough time for the catch and shoot here. Only hope is to try for a tip in off the inbound. They've got their work cut out for them on this possession. Here's Frazier, and he hits the shot. Oh, but hang on, guys. Hold everything. The officials may review it here. And don't start the celebration. The previous play is over the replay monitor and see if it got in. This one's over if the original ruling of a basket stands. But uh, we'll see. The ruling of the floor is confirmed. And no, the basket is waved off. The game is over. And how hard.
Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. This is Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Allie LaForce will be our reporter from the sideline. It's the Portland Trailblazers taking on the Washington Wizards. All right, let's check out the starting lineup for the Trailblazers. And after a series of major injuries, Wall still remains one of the more athletic players in this league. And so Wall nails them both. And Portland has possession. Pass to Lillard. Here's Vandeweghe. Fires from deep. They get the rebound. Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you gotta stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. That's the shot you hope for, right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. Pass to Drexler from behind the arc. Second shot opportunity. Here's Walton. They shoot again, and he takes it up and lays it in. That's a blue-collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put in the work. Got a second chance to score. Hayes with a screen on Lillard. Wall, no good. And here's Portland. Sabonis outside. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First team foul. No good on that one. Good on the second one. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. Pass to Hayes. The three. And again, Washington, no good. Defensively, pick your poison. That time, they gambled off the right guy. Walton. The shot that time, not on target. Now Washington takes it the other way. Tipped. Here's Vandeweghe, hounded by Beal. The shot by Vandeweghe, no good. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. Here's Arenas. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Both shots good from the strike. First quarter, just about two minutes in. And there's the drive. There's the steal. And he goes in for the dunk. Getting up and then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. First personal foul. Second team foul. Lillard outside. From beyond the arc and then some. I love how tricky Dame can be. He uses a pull-up J to catch the defender totally off balance. And the big finish by Wall. Flushing it on a much taller defender. That is just filthy. Here's Lillard. After the basket by Washington. Pass to Sabonis. Launches a three. And again, it's Portland with a three. A floor general like Lillard won't miss that assist. He easily spots the wide open shooter and connects. And the shot goes. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. You'll gladly take those. 
Washington trailing. Here's Wall. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, okay. Throw it down! Come on! Are you serious? John Wall with the statement. Oh, that's pretty. First personal foul. Third team foul. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Drexler. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already, and we still haven't gotten out of the first half. Wall, no good. Pass to Drexler. From deep three-point range. The rebound by the Wizards. If you're looking for ways to help your team, that's last on the list. Not only a terrible shot, but also at the worst possible time. That's just, just not a good idea. And it's the Trailblazers' ball. Here's Vandaway. Takes it inside. Out to Sabonis. Misses the baby hook. Washington with the ball. They trail by one. Beal, that one's good. Woo, the air is thin out there. I mean, Beal is a very accurate deep shooter, and that forces defenders out, or they'll pay. Now here's Lillard. From deep. And can't get it to go. Now one of two. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. Pass to Wall. Hayes with a screen. The offensive rebound. And at last, they get one to fall. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Here's Drexler. And stolen by Hayes. Good scoring in this one as we conclude the first quarter. Wizards out in front, up by four. And quarter number two will get underway just... If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, let's quickly break down the game and what we've seen so far from the Wizards, guys. Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second. Hayes with a screen. Pass to Arenas. For three. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. Slick feed by Beal. Taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. Here's Lillard. And the dunk by Lillard. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Here's Wall on the take. And the layup is good off the glass. Wall's got eight points. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Here's Sabonis. And he drops it in from the low post. Well, if they're doubling you, then you know someone is open to shoot. So smart move passing it out. Arenas. And the three off target. Portland trailing here. Lillard into the lane. Out to the right wing. Here's Vandaway. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Pass to Hayes. Here's Arenas. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. He has seven. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Yeah, inside Lillard is just so scrappy. Turning aggressive defense into a foul while shooting. And both free throws good for Lillard. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Out to Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. One of the most desired trade targets in the league. Seemingly every year, Beal is just a baller. And here are the Trailblazers now. It's a five-point game. And he drives in. 
Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Hayes with a screen on Lillard. It's Beal on the wing. On target from range. Beal's got 10. Down in the corner, Beal shoots with confidence. Just one more area he can score from consistently. And it's Drexler missing. Here's Arenas. He's guarded by Sabonis. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. The three ball. It's Hayes with the rebound. Hayes has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Arenas. And there's the rejection. Remaining in the second quarter. 157 left to play in the second quarter. Right wing. Out to Sabonis. Beyond the arc. The shot won't fall. Now Washington takes it the other way. Here's Arenas. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. He's got nine. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Sabonis outside. Pass to Vandaway. Let's the three fly. The rebound by the Wizards. Hayes has got eight rebounds in the game. First personal foul. Second team foul. Lillard against Wall. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second person. What an effort from Wall on the play. Refusing to let the foul stop him from taking the shot. And so Wall nails them both. A minute four left in the first half. Here's Drexler. Inside. Can they get it? And it's Sabonis laying it in. Sabonis has got ten points in the game. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. And the big finish by Wall. An athletic display by Wall. Letting the defense know he can own the rim. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. From deep three-point range, Portland grabs the miss. Lillard fires away from way outside. That one falls. Nice feed from Sabonis. He's not going to be shy about using the three-point shot. Lillard has to be effective beyond the arc to keep the D honest. Two open that time. Made it look easy. Ball's got eight here in this quarter. Smart decision to kick it out to another guy once the defense is fixated on him in the paint. Here's Drexler. From the arc. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. The shot misses. Here's Wall. He knocks it down. But wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. Well, these teams are going to have to win. The previous play is under review. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if he got it off in time. Uh, yeah, the replay makes it obvious. I mean, he got that shot off in time. It should be an easy decision for the officials. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So the replay was conclusive. Call overturned. Grant, that one's going to count. And B.A., you can argue against replay all you want. And so we wrap up the first half. It's the Wizards up 11. And we'll be back right after this. 28. T.C. Bailey, a big round of applause for your Wizards. You can't see. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from John Wall. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. 
He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Back to Sabonis. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. Assist goes to. Lillard's got three assists in the game. Just keeping the game simple. Lillard's patience and acute understanding of pick and rolls comes in handy. And for Portland. And finished off by Hayes. How about the bounce? <laughs> we could call that bounce per ounce. Can't be denied. And for Washington. Lillard against Wall. Here's Walton. Goes back up. Pass to Lillard. And Arenas pulls it down. Right side Wall. Cook it again. 7 for 12 and going at the defense. So physical for one. Wall has the size and skill to do work in the paint. Out to Lillard. A bonus with a screen on wall. Gets the three ball to go. Lillard's got 13. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Sinks the tray. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And down it goes. Two points. He's got 14. Well, I guess we could give him credit for not getting discouraged. They're still playing hard. He's doing his job out there. And then Beal with the dunk. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Sinks it from distance. The range Dame possesses is exceptional. That's what it takes to be logo Lillard. Here are the Wizards now with the ball. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Second personal foul. First team foul. Now here's Beal. 12 points for him. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Wizards will retain possession. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Oh my, oh my, and that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind that. Here's Arenas. Clock at six. The shake drives to the hoop. Second chance shot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Third personal foul. And he makes a first. At the line for the Wizards. Both good from the line that time. Knocked loose. Beal outside. Pass to Hayes. Back to Beal. The kick out to Wall. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. They set a pick. Outside wall. From deep. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. Beal's got three assists now in this one. Some speedy shooting from wall. He gets the pass and puts his shot right up to beat the D. Oh, got that one up quick. Lillard's got eight here in this quarter. Somebody, somebody help this man. Get this man some help out there. He's doing everything he can to keep his team in the game. Here's Drexler. And the layup falls. Six points for him. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Lillard against Wall. Pass to Beal. Tipped. They retain possession. Three-pointer. Arenas shot is off. And we've got 118 left in the third quarter. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Oh, 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 what a what? jam! Incredible Whoa. thunder finish! I haven't seen anything like that in a minute. Wow. Ooh, poked away. 
And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Wall. And that's going to be a turnover. They call him for the eight seconds. That's a costly error. Now let's see how they bounce back. Well, they don't have time to dwell on that. They just need to learn from their mistakes and move forward. Next play. Deflects the pass. Sabonis outside. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Wizards. There's 48 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Ball against Lillard. Takes the three. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Here's Drexler. There's the drive. And that one is hammered home. Woo! He, he just levitated in the air, double pumped, and then slammed it home. How about the D right there? They just got out of the way. They let him choose what kind of move he wanted to make. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steel. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Now Wall. Hayes for three. Drains the triple. Hayes has got five points in the quarter. And being that Wall is a point guard, it's his responsibility to facilitate. Just a terrific dime right there. And so it's the wash. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works. Or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Taking a look at the Trailblazers. With the drive. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Washington. And Portland has possession. Down by 15. Here's Drexler. It's hauled in by Beal. And it's Wizards ball. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. Pass to Arenas. Outside wall. Beal with it. Back to wall. Six on the shot clock. To the left side wing. Here's Hayes. Second chance effort. Goes up again. And finished off by Hayes. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. And that's his MLB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. It's Beal on the wing. Out of bounds. It'll be Trailblazers ball. few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Lillard against Wall. And it's out of bounds to the Trailblazers as Portland retains possession. Here's Drexler. Finds it again. Six for 12 and remaining assertive. I just love when teams make it work down low. Wall against Lillard. Outside wall. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Standing at 6'4", Wall is a big point guard. That size along with his handles help him operate inside. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Out to Sabonis. Pulls it from the top of the key. Lillard against Wall to the left wing. Here's Arenas.
Four, three. Count it. Now five of 11 for the game. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. And these shots demonstrate how locked in Lillard is. Just embracing the challenge of scoring on physical defenders. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Beal. Soft touch off the glass. And Washington leads by 19. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. You expect big numbers from Lillard on offense. His productive habits. Oh, oh, is oh, oh yes. Oh. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here. The fans going crazy right now. Here's Drexler. Pass to Lillard. To the middle. Walton. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Ball for three. And again, Washington with a triple. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. Here he goes. Shots good by Vandaway. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Outside wall. Pass to Beal. The fadeaway. No good there. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Here's Vandaway. Here's Drexler. Rebound Washington. Hayes has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Wall finds Hayes. Outside wall. And he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, this game is in the books. Not quite sure why they're delaying the inevitable by fouling. 59 seconds left to play in the fourth. Here's Arenas. Ooh, ripped away. He couldn't bring the pump fake back in quickly enough, and the defender takes advantage. Lillard right side. Here's Walton. And here's Sabonis outside. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. And man, is he in his zone right now. Seems like he can't miss. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Wall with it. Five on the clock. It's blocked. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And here's Lillard. From deep. No good. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy.
Drew Live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. We'll see the New York Knicks taking on the Washington Wizards. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. DeBusher is out there with Ewing. Then there's Frazier. Then it's Anthony. And it's Guerin in at the two. And here's Anthony for three. No good on the shot. Now the Wizards take it the other way. Unzel, the pass to Hayes. It's stolen by Frazier. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. Boy, I tell you, you're right. You can feel this one looking like it's going to be a tight one throughout. Now here's Beal. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And Anthony's got the ball here for the New York Knicks. Going inside, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And one of the very best in our league at getting to the line. Walt Frazier just has that great change of pace and aggressive nature. Always playing, though, under control. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Outside for Arenas. Outside, Beal. Hits it. From three-point range. Arenas, a wizard with the rock. Frazier dishes to Ewing. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Wall. Arenas attacking. Good on the bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. He's not there. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. And guys, I know there are a lot of questions right now defensively for this team. There's no doubt about that. It's blocked, and it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Here's Garrett. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Outside for Arenas. Oh, and the jam by Arenas. The defense had no chance getting between Arenas and the rim that time because of his athleticism. Frazier against Wall. And Dave DeBusher with the slam. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Ewing against Arenas. Pass to one zone. DeBusher kicks to Frazier. New York moving it around. To the inside. And stolen by Arenas. And here's the fast break. Beal leading the way. Wall good. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for Washington. Well, you know, they've been aggressive on the defensive end, and it's paying off for them. Quite a few takeaways for them in the early going. And, and let's also give them some credit for running the pick so well. They're making the most of their chances to score in transition. Boy, well, Ewing does a nice job anticipating shot trajectory, realizing how quick to position himself on that offensive glass. Wasted no time on that one. Ball's got five points so far. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Well, they better be thinking about him. I mean, we know how dangerous he is. Walls shot is off. And it's Frazier with the ball for New York. They trail by three. Anthony against Beal. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Trying to find Frazier, and he's got it now. 
That's his second wow. shot and his Amazing. second basket. He's two for two. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is. That's a tough shot. No good from Arenas. Makes on offense. Pass to Garen. And stolen by Arenas. And here we go. The Wizards fast break. The kick out to Wall. Pass to Beal. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Dave DeBusher. And the ability of Beal to just wear out the defense. At times, you almost have to foul him to stop him. And the second free throw, good. New York trailing. Anthony right side. No good. That would have tied it. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. He could go, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Wizards lead by two. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And what stands out to you from Washington in this one? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, you know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. And New York, looking at who they've got. They've got Anthony. DeBusher is out there with Ewing. Then there's Frazier, and it's Garin in at the two. Outside for Beal. And there's the drive. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. I love when Beal slashes to the rim like this, using that athleticism and speed so well. That one's good, and the Washington lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Anthony. The D was all over it. They just couldn't react in time to stop that quick reverse. New York with the ball. Frazier with it. He's got six. The pass to Garen. Anthony on the wing. Let's go. Again, the miss by Anthony. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Outside for Arenas. Sinks the three-pointer. Arenas has got nine. Hey, there's one thing we know about Gilbert Arenas now. There's not a shot that he won't take. He'll let it fly from anywhere. Here's Ewing. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. First, first and he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low. Really difficult for them to defend. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Ball against Frazier. Got a hand on it. And here's Anthony from the arc. No good that time. And Washington the other way now. Blocking foul called on. Jason Garrett. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's Arenas. Nine points in the game so far. Fires for three. And the Wizards hit again from deep. Agent Zero, a.k.a. Gilbert Arenas, on the pick and roll. That is a problem. You have to stop the ball first because Arenas is looking to score. Plenty of daylight on that shot. He's got nine. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Washington ball. Here's Beal. Six points for him. Outside for Arenas. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Arenas has got nine points now in the quarter. Out to the right wing. Pass to Guerin. Puts up a three. And again, New York with the triple. Yeah, you know, we know this about Frazier. Tremendously creative, both as a scorer and as a playmaker. 
It's deflected. Here's to Busher. Guerin, the tip in on the offensive rebound. Guerin's got the game tied up here for New York. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Yes, they can. They can't allow him to beat them to too many more of those. Arenas passes to Unsell. Back to Beal. Takes the three. It's rebounded by New York. Here's Anthony. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Taken away by Anthony. Frazier the pass to Ewing. New York moving the ball around. Outside Anthony. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Gilbert Arenas. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Anthony's shot is off. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. And the Knicks miss again. DeBusher's gone. One of three shooting so far. Here's Unsell. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Patrick Ewing. Really on the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. And the shooting form of Anthony, just perfect. He's dangerous with the catch and shoot and just terrific at scoring when in rhythm. From deep three-point range, Here's to Busher. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Now it's a four-point New York lead. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for New York. I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. One other factor today, points off turnover. I mean, let's see if they can keep up the pressure. Capitalize off more forced miscues. You know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. And he makes both free throws. And it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems. Oh! Oh! oh. Well, packing a punch with that throwdown. Arenas has some serious bounce. That's to DeBusher. Launches a three, and Carmelo Anthony hits from deep. Anthony's got 11 points. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Frazier against Wall. Kicks it to Hayes. Right side, Wall. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Wall's got five points in the quarter. Outside Anthony. There's the three. And again, New York with the triple. Well, Anthony is just this competitive. He wants everyone to know what he can do. He got it! Wow! Carmelo Anthony getting it done for New York. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. It's been a clinic from Gilbert Arenas. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter. Sliced right through them. Well, you know what, guys? My question is this. Who's he going to posterize in this half? You know, we've already gotten a number of filthy dunks out of him. Gilbert Arenas is out there with Wall. Then there's Hayes. Then there's Bradley... And it's unselled in at the power forward. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. That's on Patrick Ewing. You know, John Wall is not just a dynamic scorer. He is outstanding at sharing the ball with his open teammates. 
And it's Frazier with the ball for the New York Knicks. It's a one-point game. And here's Anthony for three. Washington with the rebound. Hayes has got six rebounds now in the game. And oh, oh, man. Did you see that? Wow, John Wall still has major bounce after being in the league over 10 years. And Washington has possession. Stolen by DeBusher. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Fades and shoots. The shot misses. And Washington the other way now. Outside Arenas. Lets it go with the three. No good. Only a second miss and ten attempts from the floor. And here's Anthony from the arc. Good on the three-point shot. Anthony's got 17 now. Good to see Anthony knocking down that three. When he does this, the offense becomes even more potent. And that one's good, Garen. Well, that's why they're in front. Uh, aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. New York foul. Ball, Razor. First personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Arenas. It counts. And the foul. It's on Patrick Ewing. Green is such a natural score. Even when he gets fouled, he still maintains his concentration. Washington shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. The Knicks with the lead. Now the pass to DeBush. Three pointer. They grab their own miss. Ewing. And then Ewing with the dunk. Boy, down low, Ewing's strength gives him the upper hand. He's pretty agile as well, helping him push through the contact. Count the basket. And it's eight points for Bradley Beal. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Anthony can't hit. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. For three, Ewing. Here's to Busher. And he's good on the three ball. DeBusher's got the lead up to five now for New York. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. And the whistle blow is going to be on Gilbert Arenas. That's foul number two for him. Now DeBush, eight points for him. Anthony in the corner. Here's Garrett. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. And it's an eight-point New York lead. Nice find that time for Carmelo. We know he's a score, but that time did a good job finding the open teammate. Wall, no luck. And here are the Knicks. They're on a 14-5 run. Anthony's shot is off. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Beal, the pass to Wall. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. From deep, Wall. Carmelo Anthony grabs the board. The Knicks leading by eight. From deep, it's John Wall with the rebound. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. It was maybe a step out of his range. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. Ewing gets a wide open look. New York, no good that time either. Hayes the pass to Wall. And a fast break now for New York. Here's Anthony. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Here's Arenas. And it's Arenas with the jam. And so far, Arenas is feeling it. Fiery offensive games like this are why they call this man the hibachi. You win. Can't hit from in close. Wizards trail by six. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. And it's Beal in the corner. For three. Buries the long-range jumper. 
Beal's got five points now this quarter. And great recognition there in the pick and roll. Beal usually able to make the right play. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That'll be his second, second foul of the game. Second team foul. The busher kicks to Frazier. Deep two from Anthony. DeBusher dishes to Carmelo. Here's the three. Washington with the rebound. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. That one is off. The more you watch Arenas, the more it seems like the sky is the limit when it comes to his ability. Starting to do things you just don't expect from a guy his side. And the game still closer. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth, we've got DeBusher. He's out there with Ewing. Frazier is out there with Anthony. And it's Guerin in at the two-guard spot. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. It's stolen by Frazier. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the scale. Frazier the pass to Garen. To the right side. And that's a foul. Called on Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal. That's his first that's foul. Personal foul. First team foul. And so it's New York with it. The lead is two. Frazier against Wall. It's picked off. Defense is all about anticipation, and he had perfect anticipation on that pass and comes away with the steal. Outside for Arenas. To tie it up, and it's good on the way in. Arenas has got it all tied up now for Washington. And such creativity from Arenas. Some of the ball handling moves he pulls out are just unguardable. To take the lead, here he goes. They get it back. Now the feed to Hayes. And a wide open look for Arenas. And Washington again with the bucket. You know, he's a volume shooter and a terrific scorer, but Arenas also is a crafty passer, too. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> Well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. So the wing on the left. Wall wide open. And again, Washington with the triple. Wall actually can score from anywhere on the floor, but he likes to keep the triple slowing just to keep the defense on its toes and respecting his jump shot. It's stolen by Wall. And here's the fast break. Beal leading the way. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second personal foul. First team foul. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Richard Barrett. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Arenas driving in. That's something Arenas does really well. Finding angles and avenues on his way to the rack. Anthony on the wing. He's covered by Beal. With the fadeaway. There it goes. It's in. And the Wizards' lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Anthony. I, I mean, who else do you want taking this shot? Anthony. A natural score in any situation. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. And here's Wall outside. It's rebounded by New York. 
Ewing's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. A wide open look here for Anthony. Good, and it's Frazier who picks up the assist. Frazier's got his seventh assist in the game. Here's Hayes, and Hayes throws it down. If I need a bucket, I'm going to Hayes, the Big E. So strong, you know he'll get off a good shot. The train. Rebound, Washington. Unzeld's got six rebounds in the game. And Arena's loving the spotlight as well as being that guy to take and make big shots. Frazier scanning the floor. He feeds it to Ewing. Out to Anthony. Ewing, a screen on Beal. And here's Anthony from the arc. Hangs home the trifecta. Anthony's got eight here in the quarter. Wow, look at the damage this young man is doing from deep. And there's another one. And it's a big one. What a performance from long range. Remarkable. The kick out to Wall. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Frazier. If you're talking about perseverance now, Wall has been battle tested in a multitude of ways. Second one is good. We both at the line. It's a three-point game. He is absolutely the guy you want at the line in that situation. It just shows you how much he loves these moments. Hard-nosed and tenacious. Big D crashes that offensive glass. One way he loves to get his points. To take the lead. Misses the layup. What a big possession right here. No doubt about it, guys. The tension is palpable. Pass to Hayes from the arc. Doesn't go that time. The Knicks go the other way with it. Here's Garrett. Help! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Having a whole lot of trouble dealing with ball. He's been a problem. Frazier outside. No good from three-point territory. Here's Wall. Yes! John Wall wants the ball in these situations. A prime time player who knows how to deliver. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. Here's Arenas driving the lane. Misses the lane. And so it's Washington who straight by with the win. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win and, and really...